Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Ooh, ooh. It's the reunion. Ooh, 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 the family ooh. reunion. Yeah. Fuck yeah, bitch. Um, we, uh, we're back, finally. This is like the last... We, we don't do no more pre-recorded episodes, so this will go up tonight. Yeah. Well, we're pre-recording it before it goes on the internet. Yeah. Well, uh, it's like, like Saturday Night Live. Live. Yeah. Like Saturday Night Live, it's a fucking lie. It's not actually really? live. Yeah, yeah this show's not live. live. They record yeah. in the afternoon. <laughs> no. Saturday night afternoon? Doesn't I mean, Saturday, Saturday afternoon... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. What you thought? You thought Saturday Night Live is actually broadcast live? Yeah, it is. No, they shoot it like months in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, they yeah. shoot all the episodes like six months in advance. Mm-hmm. They do one day, bang it out. They get Alec Baldwin in there. Oh, that makes sense. Because what's he going to yeah. keep coming back? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's busy, dude. He has to do a bunch of shit. Like yeah, the Shadow Two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, boss baby, boss baby. That yeah, looks call, good. Call dude. his call his kids. Pigs. I love that. The, like, like I want to. F- that daughter that he called the pig is hot yeah. as hell now. They, I feel like they only threw. I wonder in why. The, yeah, because he gave her he gave her some Positive. A, a strong life lesson. <laughs> yep, a Bob Knight style of parenting. <laughs> yeah, uh, what they called it the old uh, uh, Alexa Joel treatment. <laughs> Wait, who's this? Billy Joel's daughter. Oh, that's right. <laughs> she's a, she's great. Which you know, she, I looked her up. up so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I looked her up again recently, and she was hot. She was not like. I mean, she was ugly for you know a celebrity. But remember that picture of her with Christy Brinkley and her other daughter and her other sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So unfair. Well, nothing uh, will ever beat girl. Ron uh, Perlman's family. Yeah, Ron. Ever, Ron Perlman's son is a DJ. Yeah. Um, his family looks like the Geico caveman. He married a black <laughs> woman, right? Yeah, but a uh, fucking hell of a black woman. I mean, she's she look she's like Amazonian. Really? Hot. And then his face is fucked up. Yeah, right. he looks so like their their kids are like they don't square jaws. They don't look human. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it up. Maybe. Wait, what is his what is his wife sexy? Uh, no one in the family is sexy. Damn, Perlman couldn't pull a dime. No, I think he. You Whoa. know what? I think he's one of those assholes that loves somebody. <laughs> you know? What a bitch ass motherfucker, Ron. Perlman's what do you think that's like? What do you think love is family. like? What What is it like? Well, it's yeah. an indescribable feeling, stop. You know, you've never felt love. Stop, it feels like flying. <laughs> yeah, look at this. You've is, never felt love, Adam. It feels I like, know I, I know Nick has not. It feels like the first time you've ever listened to that song, America by Simon yeah, and Garfunkel. Is, actually, you know I've what? The, da- the daughter is all right. I guess maybe I saw a bad picture of them one time. The daughter could could get it. The son yeah, does yeah, the look. Son is the son looks like sideshow Bob. Yeah. Maybe He's a I, DJ maybe I named Del, Delroy Edwards. I held Delroy I Edwards. Check him out on Instagram. <laughs> uh, he's uh, Ron Perlman's son. Yeah. Oh uh, fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. I guess I unfairly judged that family. But That's you, right, dude. my problem is, is I have you know how some people have photographic memory. Mm-hmm. I have like caricature memory, <laughs> <laughs> like cartoon memory, of like a guy at a boardwalk <laughs> depiction. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's, but my like everything I've experienced. So yeah, 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 yeah. In retrospect, I was like, and the homeless guy has got his dick out, <laughs> which you know maybe just the tip. But it, in my mind, it became a much better story. The whole dick. Yeah, I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a homeless dick in a while. But there was some guy. There was a guy uh, when I was taking the train from Queens to fucking JFK to get to the plane. Uh, there was a homeless guy that smelled so fucking horrendous. Oh yeah, and it's just I couldn't. He looked like. Uh, Did he clear the car? Yeah, he cleared the car, and yeah. then but here's the thing: people were walking away from him. These fucking this Indian family's walking away from him, and he kept walking towards them. <laughs> like these, it's the, it's fresh scary. off the boat, Indians. It's the Indian family from the Matrix too. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to get their daughter back into I'm, the Matrix. Never seen it. Yeah, you haven't seen the Matrix too. No. What? What? Uh, everyone said it was bad. Yeah, but yeah. after they saw it, yeah, they went to go see yeah. it. And they said it was bad. <laughs> yeah. How else just, would they know? Yeah, yeah, you don't just not see the second Matrix yeah, I didn't movie. See, I didn't see it, dude. That was first our one? fucking Star I saw Wars, the first one. dude. Matrix two, yeah, Matrix yeah, yeah that's our Empire. Well, no, Strikes I mean so I, Matrix was the, the that trilogy. The Matrix was good as shit. Yeah, that's my hot ass take. Um, but yeah, that guy smelled bad as shit, dude. Um, but I haven't seen any homeless dicks. Had a nice flight over here. We're in fucking La La Land, baby. Yeah, dude. I'm fucking my new. This is I'm Malibu Mole Dog now. Yeah, I'm Hollywood. I Hallucius. talk like this. 
All the time, dude. <laughs> dude, yeah, I love the. California you already vibes. talk like that, so you can't do one of the characters. Me and him, pla- me and Stavros, <laughs> planned this out, and we said this is perfect because Adam can't do one of this these is characters. So is this perfect? what I sound like? Because he already you fucking totally sounds like I this. I can't dude. do any voice. I don't sound like that. West Coast, fucking hell yeah, Gnarly, bro. I'll do Yo, fucking head you, sessions. You'll like this. We went to, yeah. to, we, we took a nice little drive out to Faggot Rock today. Of, of the PCH? Yeah, of the PCH. Yeah, the piss hole. Co- yeah. b- the penis coming, penis coming in coming, your coming, mouth. Uh, the penis hardly. coming in your hand and then you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what people pay us money for. Yeah. Ooh, 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 You're just ooh. mad that you can't be included in the West Coast vibes. Yeah, bro. Dude, I'm from. This is my vibes, Dude, I'm guys. From, I'm back. This, this is, is my vibes. Yeah. That's, you know what? You talking is I'm actually from. helping me get the voice. Yeah. Because I couldn't get him before. Dude, this is dude I'm from. it's me. For, I'm from I'm here. I'm from here. I'm from here. I'm actually gay. I don't, you don't sound, sound like wait, How do you say I'm Mari? Actually, how do you say Mari's name? Mori. Mori. <laughs> There's no O in it. It's Mari. Mari. Dude. Mori, but the, the A-U Mori Povich makes an O. Mari Povich. The Mori Povich. Mo- what do you call Mori. him? What do you call him? Mori Porvich? Mori. Bitch. <laughs> actually, Povich does have it. Mori Povich. Yeah, Mori. Yeah, it's Mari Povich. Is his it's an A U. It's an O. Mari. Maury, Ma- Maury. Wait, that's the way we I say. I forget. It. I don't yeah, care anymore. Bitch. How do you Shut say? Up. How do you say Austria? Austria. Yeah. So Maury. 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 No, you don't say Austria. Austria. Sometimes I do. No, you don't. Whatever, it's bro. It's more of a California yeah, inflection. Oh fuck, I can't do it. It's more of a California inflection. Yeah, it's kind of like when you're gay. It's kind of like yeah, you have a cock in your ass. Yeah. And you, but you're surfing, dude. I, this That's reunion not- is. <laughs> I was just great. It was like we're gonna hang out again, and we're gonna have so much to talk about. <laughs> yeah, which is not the case. We do wait. We've, I mean, we've, we've been hanging for the last couple momentum hours. over the three days of marathon, and then it's been Nick's out here in California trying to fight for trans so they can yeah. get married. Well, I'm out here, yeah, fighting, <laughs> fighting for trans rights. <laughs> which I, I, that's why I've had to keep it a secret. But I've been, I've been out here doing like women's march stuff and Antifa stuff. That's yeah, awesome, I got. I spent all my money on black sweat clothes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and black Tight. bandanas. Tight. And, then I, and then I just got beat up by homeless people immediately, <laughs> and they took all my shit because they're fa, dude. Yeah, the, the yeah, homeless are the fa. homeless people are are fascists. They're fa, yeah. And basically, anyone that isn't one of my friends is a fascist. Absolutely. I agree. That's what I've. That's the new definition of fascism is. So what's been anyone who's ever disagreed with me about that? <laughs> <thing? laughs> I haven't I seen The Matrix too. Mm, that sounds like Shit. fascism. Am I me. fascist? Impression of so. the mind. I'm sorry, dude. dude. Mm-hmm. Is that what's the one that where mean? they have those two albino twins with dreadlocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That Corn. looked cool. Matrix is so into dreadlocks and like not black people. So having did, them. The, did the Wachowskis? what are you talking about? Who else in the movie has dreadlocks? There's like I feel like there's like a ton of Name dreadlocks. One guy. Name one. Name one. I can't non- remember. Say, There's describe more the dreadlocks. Character. Describe. I know one from the. They're first really one. into dreadlocks and hard style techno. Those Who has are the dreadlocks two things. in the first one? One of the in, brothers. Yeah, he's black. Yeah. Oh, you said not a black. Yeah, he said non-black. We'll uh, even get you. Let you do black. Pick one other person. The guy from the uh, wheelchair in Oz. Wasn't he in the Matrix? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> did you see? Did you see Matrix Three? No. Yeah, that, that was one the with worst Jada one. Sh- that one is so fucking bad, dude. Yeah, yeah. When, whenever like I love whenever that's the they, one where he turns into Jesus. Any movie where they're like, all right, let's put a mech in it. That's you when you know that they gave up. What's a mech? Machine. It's like no, it's like a fucking. It's a robot that you can sit in and you control oh, the robot. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, they have those. That's in, so tight. There's a scene at the end of the third one where like. The head of the fucking wearing robots commander. <laughs> <laughs> they all like they get. He's like you know they like they have the big battle between the fucking you know the sentinels, the like bad the, those yeah. octopus things. They come through the ceiling, and oh. then they the robots all shoot them. And then he's like ordering commands, and he's like there's like uh, you know he's like screaming and shooting the fake robots, and it's like an embarrassing scene to watch. <laughs> <laughs> like, watch watching like. The passion with this because it's such a dumb technology. I right. Yeah, that's understand. that's a famous guy too. The the commander of them. Yeah, I forget who it is. Wait, so he's just yelling and people are in the robots? Yeah, yeah they're all. It's like a, they're robot troops. Yeah, they're, they're, like, they're the last stand. Yeah, to, and so they're all dying Zion. one by one. Yeah. but it's like you know, even if if that was like Pearl Harbor or, or you know like a World War Two movie, you'd be like yeah. man, those guys actually died. But it's you can't. It's this stupid <laughs> right, you know, like, right, right. cartoon. You They're know. in bootleg ass Transformers. They're not even right. anything cool. Yeah, you know what? Did they win? At the end of Avatar, you know what's a mech? At the end of Avatar, that shit that the army guy, the uh, bad army guy, gets in. Yes, yes, yes. That's a mech. Yes, and okay. he had a knife on his. That was tight. Yeah. 
Um, you know why I think the dreads before? Because Lena Wachowski, after she went trans, got pink dreads. That's not in the movie, though, dude. Well, she, I'm just saying they're into dreads. I see. Okay. <laughs> and chose the name Lena. It'd be cool I if you think could choose Lena, your first and last name and you could just be Lena Dunham. <laughs> become trans. You could. You could change your name to Lena Dunham. I guess, yeah. The, the people would have to respect that, right? Yeah. You'd have That's to. That's part of being becoming trans. You should do that just to troll Lena Dunham. I should do that you just change to your... troll Lena Dunham. <laughs> 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 just become a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, it's like that fucking trolls gets tail thing with bugs where bugs is like... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I did a bunch yeah, of Yeah, I used shit. to get trolled, but then I started doing a bunch of dumb gay shit like dressing up like a woman and trying to kiss them <laughs> yeah, yeah. i don't like doing it but it works <laughs> <laughs> that's what fucking uh didn't gavin that so did you tweet that when yeah, it was, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Gavin, gavin and milo, kissed milo. Like, kissing each other to oh, prove something i don't to, even no, know no, it was it was to show islam it was to, oh, yeah. to, make, to make islam bad <laughs> a fucking a fucking uh whatever the fuck you want to call him alt-right guy kissed a gay guy and yeah, it's yeah. like it's true uh, it's true you're really showing them you're really show. first of all gay men are already fucking in our country so yeah. it's like anything you're doing unless you i don't know milo kissing an adult man is a big troll on That's islam true. Well, Islam wouldn't have a problem with what, with Milo, the boys. Was, yeah. <laughs> what Milo was describing. That happens in <laughs> Afghanistan all the time. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and then Milo's out now because he's a pedophile. Yeah. Of the closet? I thought he was gay this whole time. Yeah, no, he's out of the circle. I know, I know. The racist yeah, closet. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he doesn't get to be the racist anymore. Hang out. He's, he's like, now? oh, come on, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be, be racist. racist. <laughs> no. No, Milo. Um... How does the fucking how does the fucking Matrix three end? I, I just but he like, dies. Let's and stop then, for a second. How much does it actually suck to be a pedophile? That like I mean everyone already hated them oh, anyways. It's the worst. Thing. Everyone already hated them anyways. But imagine you're a pedophile and you're reading the news and like it's like Nazi banned from Nazi community for being a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, come on, <laughs> come on, just give me something, <laughs> sir, any place where I can belong. <laughs> Who would accept pedophiles? Almost. The church. Who would yeah. accept the pedophiles? Church, yeah, the Catholic the, Church. The yeah, church. institutionally, yeah. The church. Um. I mean, if you're a great musician and shit like, but you can't, you can't just be an yeah. average guy. You know? Yeah, you got to be like a Woody Allen or a fucking Michael Jackson. Like do you think Woody Allen fucked his daughter? Or you got to be a no, Woody Allen, a Polanski, you don't. an Epstein, Absolutely a Jewish not. person. Is what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying. You got you have to be Jewish. That's how you. Yeah. Polanski's what also do you mean? innocent. What's that? I'm kidding. Roman yes. Polanski. <laughs> I yeah, know. he's a piece of shit and shit. I, do, uh, uh, the Jeffrey whatever. Epstein thing is insane. Who's that? the plane? The guy, the millionaire who's like, I have a plane where you can rape children. <laughs> <laughs> like, all these Paul famous people were like, Dude, Alan Dershowitz, good. right? Yeah, yeah. Professor Alan Dershowitz. Dershowitz. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Uh, Donald Trump. Yeah. Donald Trump was on that. Yeah. Uh, the, Bill Clinton definitely raped, yeah. right? Well, I just like probably an adult. You know, you know, that's the other thing too. Imagine you're in the airport and you're like taking your fucking shoes off at mm-hmm. the TSA, and they're making you throw out their toothpaste, and then that fucking shit is just taxiing <laughs> outside the window. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Why can't I have my fucking belt back, please? <laughs> uh, they don't fuck. let a fucking small sized mouthwash. Yeah. yeah, I feel like Jeffrey Epstein was just like a rich guy that flew all the time, and he just happened to be on flights with like crying babies and he's like that's it i gotta do something i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna be the guy that gets back at those babies <laughs> what how did epstein make his money raping children <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. listen Sorry, there's I a value in being the best of anything so wait a yeah. second this yeah. is just a private plane yeah and yeah it was it's tricked the, out yeah the lolita express yeah. yeah well basically have, like, it was pets? a regular plane and okay. then he met exhibit and he was <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, my plane's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Can you make my plane cool, Exhibit? And he's like, check this out. We got a four-year-old. We went a little crazy with this one. <laughs> we went a little outside the box with this one. <laughs> it is Like true. little stocks. <laughs> they yeah, put yeah. their head in their fucking arm. Yeah. <laughs> Just like little ergonomically it. designed fuck stations. Right. I would love it if you go on the plane and have one of those like, uh, you know, those like those shoe cubbies, like outside of a ball <laughs> <laughs> Tiny Man. dildos. It must suck to be molested. 
Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. I, yeah. It's definitely I something I wouldn't know anything about. <laughs> Did you get molested? No, not really. An older neighbor. I had thought kids, that like, kid in your neighborhood. Sort of, yeah. But is that like really molestation? What? What happened again? An older neighborhood kid was like, Sucked "Let me cock. suck your dick." Yeah, and he did suck your dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, shut up. No, yeah, yeah I guess that counts. <laughs> that yeah. counts. Yeah, you've told me this yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It one hundred percent. Well, no, it's because it's like he he was getting molested. I feel like that's stolen valor. That's like if a guy came back from Iraq no. and punched me in the face, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm a veteran." <laughs> <laughs> you just sound like when they found out Vito was sucking the security guard's dick, and not he was getting his dick sucked by the security guard. No, that's yeah. you did get molested, but it is you got molested. It is yeah. the no, softest it's kind it's, of. It rape. was a kid that was like maybe three years older. It's okay. not like you know. I mean, he was probably he was he at, probably got molested. He was being yeah, molested. Yeah, yeah. By you? No, not by me. Oh, by somebody else? Yeah, I was just like, oh, this is kind of weird. Like, it never <laughs> fucked me up. No, but like, you were like, it, was, it, it was pretty <laughs> you The most well-adjusted person I've ever met in my no, no, life. No, no, it's true. <laughs> he's, lived, he's, lived a, he's lived a normal life. Nick yeah. saying it never fucked him up getting his dick sucked when he was 12 yeah. by another guy. After you talk even... about, like, yeah, after you talk about, like, the three years you spent uh, drinking a 30 and playing Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going exactly Every single to play. Day. This yeah. is the most, this is the best your life is going. It's the most you're depressed. Yeah. If some guy started sucking your dick and just fucking make well, how about this? Games? I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Yo, I, oh, I think about I, this. Okay, so you did a podcast without us. Hold on. Are we yeah, off I molestation? Did. Can we talk okay. about molestation? No, let's keep Were you ever get, sure. Did you ever get molested? No. Well, probably. I mean, what happened? Uh, well, I had a, my parents lived in Europe, so probably for, you know, by fucking American standards, I probably got molested. <laughs> What is, did, did that? Did anything ever? Did anybody ever? Well, I mean, in your sheltered American culture. Oh, you know, I see. I see. You sucked off your your uncle on a bike ride. It wasn't my uncle? Who was it? it was my grandma. I sucked her <laughs> off. <laughs> you sucked her old titties. I think. No, I, no, no, it wasn't her titties. It was her dick. You sucked your grandma's dick. Yeah, of course. Um, you wouldn't suck your grandma's dick if she asked you to. I probably would. She's got a nice fat cock. Does did, she? D- no. Did you, did anything, well, no. I think I, I mean, told this story on. I think one time, but it wasn't molestation. What happened? One time me and my cousin were like, we got naked and my aunt <laughs> came in <laughs> and she did got you touch mad. each other's dicks? We weren't, we weren't really touching. I think we were like laying in bed. <laughs> Dude, imagine if you're fucking that. You're, little this boys. is this is stolen valor. I'm sorry, but that's no. not molestation. Yeah, Nick definitely got the molestation. No, I did. Molested. I'm saying I did because you know I've told that story to people who were actually molested, and they're like, "You didn't get fucking molested. That's like kids experimenting." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know, I think it's that's like probably. I could be. Yeah, it didn't like. In all, okay, like, in, all, in all saying. honesty, it fucked up. Where you know I turned like 15 or whatever. I'm like, am I gay? For, right, like, right, even right. if that was like that's not right, even, like right, a big right, deal. Right. And then I'm like just jacking off the lesbian pornography constantly right, so right, it's right. like you don't I even want to see not, a dick involved yeah right yeah <laughs> yeah of course um, um i i think i told the story on ykwd but i never told it on this podcast where i tried to see is this another story kid where john dick? morris yeah, almost yeah, beat the yeah, shit yeah, out of yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. dude he was seeing red <laughs> well yeah <laughs> I, I told the story what happened was <clears throat> uh they had just gone over the like don't show your privates if somebody has to see your privates don't yeah yeah you know that thing had gone uh-huh. to school and i was just like such a fucking little dickhead and if anybody told me to do anything i want to do the opposite yeah so i was hanging out with this fucking weird neighbor kid i don't remember what his name is but his dad's name was oscar he still fucking lives next door to my parents he has like the shittiest porsche on earth he has like a fucking he painted a fucking mural and spray paint on the back of this fucking yeah, beat up that porsche. fucking rules that's cool <laughs> i'll take a picture of it next time i'm home anyway yeah i it just reminds asked me of uh, the pjs you ever see the pjs yeah they, oh, uh, yeah. they had a joke on that show where they like make a soapbox racer or something, and it's a Porsche, but it's two O's. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good show. That was a very good show. I, I, you know what? I found a VHS tape at my mom's house, with, like taped episodes of the PJs on it. I love that fucking yeah. show, dude. The PJs. Let's get into the PJs. Projects. Living in the PJs. But basically, I just asked to see this kid's dick. I was like, I was like, hey, uh, we're just playing with toys. I was like, so, um. <clears throat> You think maybe we should like show each other our privates? And he was yeah. like, "Nope." And I was like, "Okay, no big deal." But uh, I definitely asked to see another another boy's dick, 
And uh, who knows if he had said yes, what would have happened? I he, mean, I guess the closest I got molest to being molested was that my dad just was constantly naked around me my entire upbringing. Yeah, my dad was always naked. Like, in, including, like, yelling at me for doing things wrong. Like, getting <laughs> yelled at by a naked, <laughs> small his, man. His penis just jingling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I, like car keys. <laughs> you've never... How <laughs> dare you do that? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I just... Me- I vividly remember my dad's flappy dick, like, as he's, like, yelling at me about, like, not doing well enough on my history test. <laughs> <laughs> what? was even like, just like s- you're at Olive Garden. <laughs> no, it I mean, eat him. Eat him. Eat him. Like, him. <laughs> him. Look at me. Look at more dick. Eat him. He'd be like in the shower and he'd be like, get in here right now. And I'd be like, I don't want it. And like, <laughs> yeah, and it extended into high school. I'd be like 17 years old. <laughs> He's just in the bath. He's like my whole. <laughs> He's taking a bubble bath. He's in a bath. bubble bath. He's taking <laughs> a bubble bath, but the tip of his dick is coming <laughs> through the bubbles. <laughs> He's just hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like a it's submarine like a periscope <laughs> yeah uh, it twitches uh, when he yells really loud uh, he just see it fucking yeah i mean it's just shaking back and forth like a doorstop wait have you guys not seen your dad's cocks have we? yeah my dad would be naked a lot too does your dad have a big a big hog? Well, i think i think i Do you have a bigger think, or smaller dick than your dad i think my dad has a bigger dick than me but not that like when you're a little kid you see it uh your yeah, father's yeah, yeah. dick you think it's humongous of course and i thought he was really packing and i saw it recently and i don't remember why or how um i was talking muffle he was sleeping <laughs> <laughs> he was like, <laughs> broke into his fucking room tied his hands up and sucked his cock but no i saw it recently and it was not it was like bigger than my dick but it wasn't like a fucking monster so your dad's um, big dude. He's got a nice cock. Have I don't, have, I don't have a very penis? big dick. Yeah, when I was like three. Okay, so you yeah. haven't... Actually, I walked head. in on my dad jacking off one time when I was like 13. That's oh. awesome. Wow. Like, that is like... What happened? Completely out of the memory Oh, no, bank. let's get it. Let's fucking cr- let's fucking go into the bank, dude. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Like, this I, bank Where bank? was... Hold on, hold on. Set the scene for us. You're in his apartment. I, no, I was... Uh, he still had a house at the time, and I like went in... Oh, he's in. doing better. Yeah, uh, well, barely. And I yeah. went in... That was the end of it. Yeah, I went into his room to see if like he was going to drive me to school or whatever. Oh, it was a morning beat It was a morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's therapeutic. And he's like completely naked on the bed. <laughs> on the and bed then, laying down? Laying down. And, like, that's how my mom he, caught me. As soon as he heard the door open, he like rolled. So mm. he rolled and it's like, I jack off. So of I know what the fuck he's doing. And he rolled and like he was completely naked. So like the sheets caught one of his ass cheeks and just like <laughs> opened his ass. <laughs> and he's just looking over his open ass at me. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I told you. Because he's like nervous. Because, you know. What, uh, the, 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 yeah, so I'm like, uh, are you driving to school? He's like, yeah, I'll be done in like, uh, like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. And I just, like, closed the door. I don't know. In his mind, he was like, that was a close one. <laughs> I know. You never think you got caught beating off when oh, you got caught. Oh, I told you guys, like, a few years ago, we were saying I was, I was visiting... Oh, it was my grandfather's funeral. We were in San Diego. <laughs> I was staying in a hotel room. My parents had one room. My sister had a room. And I had a room next door. And we knocked on their door to see what time dinner was. And they were like taking a while. And I like looked at my sister. I was like, oh shit, dude. Like maybe. And she's like, they don't fuck. They're sleeping. And she like knocked again. And my dad just opens the door and he's wearing, this is such a dad move. He's wearing t-shirt, no pants or underpants, just stretching his t-shirt over his dick. <laughs> and he goes, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> <laughs> and I literally, my sister stayed there. I literally ran down the hall, like this oh like long God. hotel room hall. So they were definitely fucking? I think they were trying to have Wait, sex. Wait, would he, would he walk around naked around your sister too? No, no. He would oh, do it to me. You. It okay. was like a man thing. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, it was like gotcha. a like a sauna. sauna Get yelled rules. at by your by yeah, your yeah. five foot five South African <laughs> father. I fucking uh, I remember. I just had a flashback to being like uh, I don't know, like eight or something with yeah. my cousin. And we were hanging out in his room, and like uh, I, like uh, I was either it started with either we, me or him in the bed, and like we both had shorts on, and like so I was like underneath the cover, but I was like fully clothed. Yeah. And I like, draped the blanket over my leg, but then pulled the shorts up and then draped like the blanket over. And I was like, does it look like I'm naked? You know, yeah, and yeah. Like, we, like we laughed. We thought it was funny. So we kept doing it like, does it look like I'm naked or whatever? And like it got down to where we just had underwear on. But then we were like draping it a certain way where it's like, you know, 
It lo- like this looked like <laughs> they're like laughing hysterically. And then he he was like, I got to go to the bathroom. So he goes down the hall into his parents' room to go to the bathroom. And fucking, I just took all my clothes off, and I like tucked the sheet through my legs, and then in my ass, <laughs> so that I came up and just barely covered my dick, and then like, but it was stuck in my ass. Yeah, like, yeah. And then so like, I walk in his parents' room, just dragging the sheet through my legs over my. Face. You're just credit carding their sheets in your asshole. <laughs> You're essentially wiping your ass with their yeah, yeah, sheets. Yeah, yeah. And I'm four hundred three. I'm like, I'm like crying laughing because this joke had been going on for. Like like 15 minutes of course or eight so we think it's hysterical and i go in the bathroom and he's in there with his mom and like they're just like talking and i'm like does it look like i'm naked and like she's like what the fuck <laughs> and then hold on behind me my uncle is coming down the hallway and he's like what the fuck <laughs> And I just, he's the behind, so he can see my ass. With the, the sheets <laughs> dragging, <laughs> just the whole sheet <laughs> shoved up my ass. You know, fucking, I'm like, does it look weird. like I'm naked? And they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, we're playing a game where it look, where you look, you're supposed to look like naked. I can't really explain it. <laughs> did he not? Did he even cover it all, or yeah, was he just like you're on your own? Yeah, no. I mean, I, we did weird shit like that all the time. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was the same with me and my cousin. That were, you guys were same around the same age. Yeah, he was yeah. a year younger than yeah, me. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Me yeah. and my brothers, there's a. I was looking through my. I was I was home and um, for my mom's birthday, and I was looking through like old pictures and shit, and I just found a fucking picture. There was three pictures. Me and my brothers were all holding hands naked each sitting on a watermelon <laughs> just like we were we were four two and two <laughs> just like these two fucking babies and we're and we're smiling first of all who the fuck is taking the picture and Wait, then are your my, brother's twins yeah they're twins are they fraternal twins? fraternal yeah yeah what does that mean it just means they were born at the same time i'm oh, a okay. test tube baby all yeah, right. so is my sister. Is that why you're yeah. morbidly obese? No, nah, dude, this is peak. This is science designed. Me, <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly. Yeah. This is I like they made you in like a Nike commercial. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so your dad on a treadmill hooked up to a bunch of machines. <laughs> a machine just sucking my dad's dick. <laughs> Isn't it weird? It's a mannequin's head like bobbing up and down. Your dad, yeah. your dad jacked off for you to live, for you to exist. I'm a product of beating off. Yeah, that's yeah. How, that's so no matter how much you guys beat off. You'll never beating off will never be as important as, to you important, as it is to me. Yeah. yeah, beating off caused my life, dude. I think my dad said something to me, and I was like, "You're you have to be lying." I was but an was accident. Like, you were an course, accident. That makes yeah. so much yeah. sense. Yeah. Well, they, they had <laughs> they had kids from previous marriages. No, no, no. But I don't think they were engaged or whatever before my mom got pregnant. Oh, oh okay. Just, you just right. caused so much unhappiness. Oh, oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> you, just, you ruined people's <laughs> lives before you even existed. <laughs> yeah. Before you even came yeah, into the world. Yeah, that's so. My parents tried so much harder to have. My parents wanted to have me and my oh, brother yeah. so much more than your parents wanted to have oh, you. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's and not I, even I, close. It's Look, really expensive. I legitimately, it's super expensive. Super expensive. I like yeah. legitimately destroyed my parents' lives. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, when people are like, don't blame yourself with the divorce. It's like, why would I do that? And then I turn and I become an adult and it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, 100%. Nah, they shouldn't have been married in the first place. Exactly. It was all, yeah. It's mm-hmm. not blame the divorce. It's blame you the, for the marriage. Yeah, That's for, like, yeah. Blame yourself for the marriage, not <laughs> yeah, the divorce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, dude, my dad was beaten off. Yeah, it's funny. My parents used to like it cost so much money. It took them a long time yeah. to have kids. And it's like, fuck, man. I wish we had like any of that money if you could have just fucked. Yeah, they spent a ton of leaving. money. How well, much does money does it cost? Dude, I, in, in vitro in vitro <clears throat> fertilization costs like a shit ton of money. I was the How second much? round. Like, like it's like ten tens grand, of thousands of ten dollars. grand to go, yeah. not just to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah. took for one like cycle, four or yeah. five times. Yeah, and they Damn. tried everything else before that. Yeah. In fact, the only reason we're even not in Greece is because they just they literally didn't have that technology anywhere but America in the eighties. Yeah. That's so fun. Yeah, man. That's yeah. the same with my sister. They wanted to have like a sibling for me. And I was in the I was in like the second batch of kids ever born. Like I feel like I feel like yeah, yeah, that's early. I feel yeah, like I yeah. should have been kicked out of America. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he deserves to be here. Yeah, that's um, right, bitch. Yeah. Well, I remember my dad was like we were at a dinner party and he was just being inappropriate in front of kids and like yeah you know the 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 company sort of hitting was, on your sister the company was laughing so he kept going with the story and he was yeah. talking about how they sent him to the bathroom to jack off like to make my sister <laughs> and i always had this image growing up 
of like a public restroom, like like a stall at a public yeah, dude, restroom. Your sister used to be a fucking puddle in front of a urinal. <laughs> just my dad it's just, just a jacking puddle off your in dad's a stall. Hand. Like at a smelly like urine. There you go. And then he just slapped it <laughs> into your mom's pussy. <laughs> The doctor's like, $10,000, please. (laughs) (laughs) Oi, I'll beat me willy off. (laughs) Directly in the avidge. I wonder what my dad beat off. That I want to know. That's that. the other thing. Yeah, I want to ask my dad. He got porn. They give you off? porn. Yeah. I wonder what porno. And that was the first. Is that crazy that doctors have that was porn? The f- that was the know, first stand-up offices. joke I ever wrote. What, what was, was that? that? That like I was beating off to a picture of Marilyn Monroe, which was true. I was beating off to like vintage porn one day cool. when I was like fifteen. Yeah. And then I had this like thought. Were you wearing like, a fedora? While yeah, you did? I was. <laughs> you were being a real classic. Yeah. Well, man. I, I was really into like uh, swing revival. Yeah. Zoot suit riot. So I would wear my zoot suit and beat off. <laughs> but eventually it became filled with cum so, <laughs> as happens to all zoot suits if you, that would take a long time to fill a zoot suit with cum yeah yeah they're very Dude, baggy it would take years I don't think I've how, filled how long a do you zoot think suit you could, how long would you think it'd take you to fill a zoot suit a completely lifetime. with cum a lifetime well so anyway <laughs> back to the my brilliant first stand up <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for yeah, it yeah 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 is that you let's know, all go around I was I was yeah, jacking yeah. off to a picture of Marilyn Monroe and I thought holy shit my grandfather could very well have beaten off to the uh, same exact picture because uh, there was only like yeah. four porn images back of then. Of course, yeah, yeah. And like that, first I got weirded out, but I thought, you know, I should be more open minded. He's going to die soon. I don't really spend much time with him. Uh-huh. We don't have anything in common. It's like maybe I could use this <laughs> yeah. to spend more time with my grandfather. And so now me and my grandfather get together every Saturday and we beat off to <laughs> that's a good pictures joke. of Marilyn Monroe. That's a bad joke. That's a good joke. And then he hands me a Werther's original at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to do an act out with my grandfather like, keep going, you're yeah. almost there. <laughs> you're almost come. That's, that's it. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Nicholas. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was, yeah, that was my first. That's pretty good. Thanks. I don't remember what my first, first bit was, but I had one horrific bit. Yeah, where it was like it's so funny how bad you are at stand up when you first. Oh started. my <laughs> god, Dude, so bad! <laughs> I had a bit that was like something about, I don't know, just wanting to be fat enough that or not fat enough that I could wipe my ass or something like that. Or there, here was here was this fuck the when things so were, like, when things were going tough. Mm-hmm. This was the bit I brought out to get everyone back. You yeah. know, my first my first couple months, where it was like uh, something about the punchline was. It was like, yeah, people are outside. Everyone's out, out and about, hanging out. It's like, I, you know, I really don't go out. People are like, hey, stuff. Where were you? We were all hanging out Saturday. I was like, oh, you want to know where to find me on a Saturday night where everyone's out having sex with each other? Follow, paddle your canoe up the river of semen and tears. <laughs> and that oh, was wow. like my fucking. That was, your, that that was, was the like line. Semen and tears Ugh. was like. Yeah, that was like that's, but that's like a very 2008 bit when everyone was like, and I see this guy and he just smells like failure and depression. Right. Oh no no, yeah, dude! Yeah, yeah. yeah it's smelling smell- like disappointment. Yeah, what is yeah, it? Yeah. What was the one that was like? It was like that. Some yeah. variation uh, of that shit. It was people were still the big, doing the big that. hack. Still doing the it. big hack yeah. bit out yeah. here. Is people that say something like, "So you know, I'm eating two different uh, Wendy's Frosties, as you do, you know, as you do, as big too, yeah, yeah." Yeah. They, uh, I've seen so many people do that. But yeah, things that like smell like failure or or the, taste the only like way to failure. not be a hack anymore is to just not do stand up comedy, <laughs> and that's where I'm at. <laughs> I'm at the level of so good at stand up that you just don't even perform. Yeah, stand-up you stop comedy. doing it. You just never go do spots. You turn them down even. Very nice when people offer them to you. That's beautiful. Cool. That's very cool. That's, of the, you. that's called the new crush. I love it, dude. It's just, just not leave your sitting apartment. quietly in your house, <laughs> yeah. checking Twitter. Yeah, checking the Twitter that you're Scrolling, locked yeah, out of. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're waiting for growl notifications to pop up on my computer that I can't fucking respond to, and playing Final Fantasy. <clears throat> Did you bring your PS4 out here? No, I didn't bring shit, dude. Nice man. Yeah. What's the family like? Are they nice. What Hold family? on. What's I don't your, live with a family. Hold on. What's your, you did. what's your stand up first stand up joke, Adam? Oh yeah. Let's oh, it was shit. about. Um, Oh yeah, it was. Well, I think it's it's hack, but it was about how. Of course, it was. It's about how right after you come and you're watching porn, you start feeling like really bad for the girl, and it's <laughs> like, and you're like, actually, she's not that hot, and then, but like before you come, it's like 
you know, like, like I want to sh- fuck the shit out of her. And then I'm like, <laughs> oh, no. And then you come and then it's like, oh, you're, you're you know, you probably got raped when you're. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Damn, that yeah. was good, dude. That was even better than semen in tears. That's kind of like a like a hack Louie kind of. I mean, that's yeah. what was popular, I think, also when I was starting stand up. Yeah. One of my first big bits was about Judge Mathis. Uh, oh, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. About like. uh how Judge Mathis is my favorite TV judge because, like, <laughs> I don't know. He just, I, I, the joke was extremely racist. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he like, just takes no nonsense. Uh, yeah, well, no. You fools. <laughs> he that, just that, did some terrible The line was like, uh, I find you guilty of first degree motherfuckery <laughs> <laughs> and 12 counts of some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> my fuckery <laughs> that's very funny <laughs> yeah yeah oh, I sentenced you to 12 years a day and without the possibility cut me some slack Jack <laughs> <laughs> it was like a long bit. <laughs> wow that's good you yeah. wrote you really wrote the shit out of that yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all blackout drunk incredible dude yeah. well done in, in, incredible yeah um, I forget the setup for it though was that I think yeah I don't I don't know how he became a judge oh yeah that's it the, oh, the show that's starts nice off racist. the show starts off and the first thing you hear is him saying I used to be in jail and now I'm a judge and it's like <laughs> that does not make you a good yeah. judge <laughs> <laughs> my car broke down yeah. now I'm a mechanic yeah right <laughs> I raped a girl now I'm woke online <laughs> Which, that actually is that's all awesome. yeah, that, that is, is basically <laughs> the origin story yeah <clears throat> Is that why we're not woke? Is because we don't rape? I was trying to say that to a girl the other day. Do well, that's there's fucking during an argument. There's so many fucking people <laughs> that come after me online that are get like really mad about it. it's. It's always the guys that get mad about irony, Ugh. and then they have like these like tweet storms. And then 35 in, they're like, look, I used to be on something awful. I, my name was nigger faggot 920. I bombed a black church, but now I know better. And I'm not like that. And that's why I know that irony is bad because you turn into guys like Mullen. <laughs> guys like, who do no harm to anyone yeah, at all, yeah, right. but say dumb shit with their friends <laughs> yeah, on a right. podcast, <laughs> but are very nice to literally everyone they ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> right, I just don't get it. I don't know about very nice, but yeah. yeah. I'm pretty he nice. Actually, he, literally, he actually is shocking. You are very nice. nice and you're a good friend too that's what i told uh, uh someone recently oh thanks yeah man. yeah <laughs> nice. i love i love when people like well, someone uh, saying like that that's i can't believe he said that i was like well he's a good comic also it's yeah, funny. every anytime anyone mentions me in another context in a conversation with someone else they were like oh I, yeah somebody was uh well don't worry about the context or why you came <laughs> up <laughs> i had dinner with like uh josh Androsky the other night he's like oh yeah people hate you yeah you come yeah. up a lot people really don't like you it's like, so crazy no I, I guess it makes sense if you only look at my twitter feed i guess i guess that's true i just i just have known you for so long it's the tweets are fucking funny as hell also yeah i actually thought i hate to say it that the the rape one kind of funny not Which bad. One? Well, it's, I, I'm not going to... No, it wasn't like hilarious. I do, it's First of all, I don't remember tweeting it, but I can look at that and know immediately... The that context. The, the, the conceit is... It's, it's literally sarcasm. Of it's, course. The joke is that rape isn't inherently funny. Right, right. I don't right. fucking know how you... Yeah, can, yeah. There's even people like in that when people are getting mad responding to it like, oh, wow, rape, so funny. And it's like, that is literally the same uh, exact thing I said. That you are doing that's exactly the point of the joke. what I fuck... Yeah, I know. Ugh. People are fucking pieces of shit, man. But whatever. I don't, yeah, you don't yeah, need yeah. to fucking relitigate Our who's a dumbass online. I'm so I'm free now. I don't have to be on the internet. Are you done with the internet? Um, yeah. You go. You do Instagram still? Uh, yeah, I still. I I'm like off, Instagram. so I can't. Instagram's the only place you're allowed to be sincere. Instagram banned me, dude. Yeah, you could take a pretty picture and put that up. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I just I'm like depressed or whatever. Yeah, you take a picture like, of a car. A, a f- <laughs> yeah, a car. yeah, you a do car. such gay shit on Instagram. <laughs> You're in a car show. You'll do seven pictures of cars. No, that in was a row. funny. That was funny because you flood people's feeds. Yeah, yeah. I took I took a picture of every car at the auto. Show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but sometimes I'll do cars. Like there's some I saw. Like there was a a, a, a Mark Seven. An LSC Mark Seven in my neighborhood that I had to take a picture of, um, and I saw the other day a Chevy Celebrity with a Continental kit. Which what the fuck is that? It's like the the body kit. Well, no, it's the tire on the back. Well, a Chevy Celebrity is like a fucking front engine, like mid-sized GM piece of shit sedan from like mm. the 1980s. It's a great name. 
Yeah. Uh, well, it's, yeah, like, come on. Chevy celebrity. A celebrity. The Chevy cool yeah. ass it's the car. Ford millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a piece of shit car. And then, but somebody had a Continental kit on it, which is the, the, the wheel on the mm. back. Oh, okay. A fifth wheel. We saw that oh, rolling. In, in slab culture, it's called a fifth wheel. Oh, nice. If you're familiar with slabs. What's slab mean? Slabs are like, uh, it's like a thing in the South, like Texas guys and Atlanta guys, they get big old, like, Oh, big uh, body cars, and they put yeah, they put yeah, like full size American sedans, right, and they right, put like right. underbody lights on them, and then it's usually there's a continental kit, rims. continental kit that folds forward and the trunk open, and then like neon lights spell oh, out shit yeah, on the dude. trunk, and then you put like you know, so like what, like Devils, twenty six inch Devils rims on like it that? and shit. Yeah, well, Devils are you know like whatever, like Roadmasters yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, and fucking yeah. yeah. But they're cool. They, yeah, those usually are cool. they're candy paint. Of course. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Oh, man. Candy paint I mean, we, we did bring up Pin My Ride, but goddamn, that was awesome. I remember like just yeah. being a dumbass 14-year-old and being like, yeah, dude, I'm going to get my fucking yeah. ride pimp, dude. Yeah. Well, it's like I'm going to have a bounty house out of my fucking Chevy fucking That was Elantra. such a bizarre show because it's like, oh, you know, it's like, ah, oh, my car, like, uh, you know, it sucks. And then it's like, great. Now I'm going to be the fucking white guy that drives the <laughs> Sizzler in yeah. like a, a fucking Austin Powers gold member <laughs> right. themed El Camino. First of all, that <laughs> is getting stripped so quick. No, yeah. that car is getting fucking robbed yeah. so quick. Didn't in those it turn sh- out that they didn't actually ever get the cars or like... No, they got the car, but they didn't do any mechanical work on them. It was all, <laughs> oh, that was it. It was that all was fabrication. It, right? yeah. So you went on that so car still because you're... Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And like, imagine how quick all the if you're running all that power out of it, yeah, how they, quick that zaps your gas and yeah. shit. Well, the problem is no one would watch a show where they were just like, yeah, we'll fix your fucking, you know, <laughs> right, we'll do right, a right, top right, end right. restoration on right. your fucking shitty Civic or whatever. You know, no one would watch that. No. So, but then for like budget reasons, I'm assuming they couldn't. I mean, maybe they did fix it on some of them, but yeah, that's a. Uh, that's I never watched thing that is show. Like, you, you never watched it? No, I watched it all the time. I, well, I didn't have cable at the time, um, you but poor, uh, you poor bitch. No, my just my mom just was like, she would make weird decisions with how she would spend her money. Like she just wouldn't use the heat or anything. I'm sure we could have afforded cable. Right, if, right, you right. Know, she um, her tithe to the fucking anti Jew club that she was in was too high at the time. Yeah, well, we she was paying. They decide <laughs> what's on the TV. <laughs> exactly, yeah. dude. Um, but I the uh, hell out of that. Yeah, no, yeah, me too. Monster Garage. I remember my dad had like uh, the VHS tapes of Monster Garage. That he would give to me. You yeah, watch that? That? It, it was Jesse like, James. It was like show. pin my ride for white dads. Um, West Coast no. Chopper was like that yeah, too. Yeah, West Coast Choppers is Jesse James. It was oh, it was okay. a show where he like assembles a crew of fabricators or mechanics uh-huh. or whatever, and they take a car and they have to do something with it. Like they had one where they'd turn a limousine into like a fire truck. Oh, tight. Yeah, so they had to like like design like a custom transmission. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was a cool show. Didn't that guy cheat on Sandra Bullock with he like did. some white trash bitch? Was yeah. he a wrestler before he was a car guy? No, no. He Isn't was, he a racist though? For I mean, cars? For sure. No, he was always a car guy. Yeah. Really? Cars and motorcycles, yeah, right? Yeah. West Coast Chopper, just yeah. uh, he he just embodied that outlaw lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Well, I cool. like I, I mean I I don't understand why people were mad at him for like cheating on a well, woman. His marriage didn't work out. I mean, right, they were right, married right. for a long time. It's right, like, right, you know, right. Oh, he cheated on Sandra on Miss Congeniality. She is hot How as hell, her? though, dude. I don't know. Sandra Bullock's oldish. Like she's what in her mid fifties. So, like, and it's like. Her and fucking she uh, she got that, that space movie yeah ooh ooh homegirl was fine oh dude. in a, uh, the where they're floating yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. gravity gravity, gravity. <laughs> yeah. that movie she sucks was, dude she was looking good as the hell, opening girl. sequence Gra- is really cool gravity is the dumbest movie I've ever seen it was in my life. fine it's no it was fun to watch but like I love that I never it opens it up with Sandra Bullock doing some kind of shit on a fucking space station right and she's and scared then, to be in space well George Clooney <laughs> floats up to her he's like so what are you doing up here. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like he's essentially asked her like what's your mission or whatever and she you know it's exposition she has to explain it to uh-huh. him or whatever but like he would know of course <laughs> there's no also, way there's no way you wouldn't know what your co-worker in space <laughs> right, Wait, I, right, thought, right, right, I thought right. he was doing like a charming bit like oh like fancy seeing you here that's you know? not how I interpret it oh no I thought it was like oh there's only you two have to understand as a spectrum of observer of, <laughs> no yeah yeah of uh <laughs> but, but, but trying okay, to be charming no 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 there was a lot there's another thing that makes that movie fucking stupid is the whole time she's this like morose dickhead who's like you know uh, I just couldn't really do anything with my life since my daughter died I've been 
completely immobile. And it's like, what do you mean? You couldn't do anything besides be become an, astronaut. an astronaut. Yeah. Right. Also, she's like scared. <laughs> she was just a doctor, right? Yeah. And she then they like put a, her in space. She was like, like a teacher. The people that want to go to space, fucking their whole lives are trying to go. Their dicks are so hard for space. No one is like. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like that fucking, uh, what was a. Uh, Armageddon, the Ben Affleck. Del- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Arma- Armageddon, some pussy. Oh yeah, 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 dude. No, we watched that, that clip that, last wait, night. Wait, hold on. What accent does that make sense in? I'm gonna get some pussy. Cajun, Cajun. Cajun yeah. I'm gonna get some pussy. I'm gonna get some pussy. I'm gonna get some pussy. Armageddon. Man, I kind of wish I was Cajun. I wish I was Cajun. I wish I just Armageddon had awful fucking pussy. teeth and I was scary and you could fucking wrestle games. You had a French yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, I was missing a couple of fingers. <laughs> That'd be cool. And some nubs. Yeah, fingering a My girl name with nubs. Pierre. I feel is cool. Pierre Buffon. <laughs> Do they think France is gay there? Yeah, yeah probably. For sure. They do the same way that be, they think the same way think, everyone else. They think France the North is gay? is gay. They all have like French names, though. Yeah, well, they're they're. They does, probably do they respect? Does France? Quebec think France is gay? No, they probably no. respect. They them. probably like France. I don't know. Fuck it, I can't wait till Marin Le Pen gets in there, baby. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, get those fucking Arabs out of France. <laughs> yeah, where are they gonna go? Where are the Arabs gonna go next? I don't know, man. Japan. <laughs> this, didn't, didn't Japan that bitch, is like one of the most closed off countries in the entire they world. They let in like 20 refugees yeah, yeah. or some shit. Like yeah. 28 <laughs> refugees. I think that's well, half the And they only got why, in after a karate tournament. I think that's yeah. half the reason. Uh, I'm probably going to get blowback. Half the reason why I think the alt right guys are so into anime is because it's like <laughs> it's a racially pure society. It's the most racist country in the world. That yeah. is true. They're like, this is what pure racism can create. These cool Pokemon. That is true. Yeah, you know? but anime wouldn't have happened. Like, none of Japanese culture would have happened if it weren't for the American occupation after the war. Uh, and also or the bomb. bombing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that right? We got them fucking. Yo, two-time champs, baby. No, it's yeah. their weird like Japanese interpretation of American culture. It's that cool. Create, that they do it cooler than shit. us. Because look at China. What has China ever made? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> what has China ever done for me? Nothing. <laughs> what do I owe China? No, hold Jack on. Shit, hey, baby. Whoa, 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 egg rolls, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Dumplings, soup dumplings? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And Crouchy Tiger type shit. That's yeah. tight. How that's about, cool. how about yeah. I, I'm inventing this, the neg rolls, right? And it's a fortune cookie that you give to a girl. And, and it's, it's an it's insult. Like, it's like, you're ugly as shit. So yeah. I, <laughs> nice sweater. My mom's got the same one, yeah. bitch. You look, you look like fucking shit. I yeah. love you. <laughs> that's how negging works, right? Yeah, you fucking dumb bitch. Please marry me. <laughs> can we go out? Can we? Can we fucking yeah. follow all the rules of puas? The and just rules? go out one night. They yeah. work. They work one hundred percent. Actually, you know the the funny thing is, is that when I hear that, I like think that no, there's no way that works. There's no way you take a dweeb and he goes out and he does that. But my friend that was gonna become the rabbi, Tommy Giorgione, Tommy decided <laughs> decided at at fourteen, like or fifteen, he was just like. I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna fucking fuck, dude. And he got all these. He downloaded it off Kazan Torrance these wow. CDs from this guy Ross Jeffries. Okay. Yeah. And Does he, that guy live in Montreal? Who Ross Jeffries? Yeah. I don't know, but it's the guy who they based Tom Cruise's character Magnolia off. Really? Of. Yeah. And it basically, like, he would tell me like the 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 patterns. I mean, it's it's terrible. I mean, it's what it's, is it? It's literally like manipulation through cycle. Psychological- and did he fuck? Yeah, he fucked like four years before anyone Tommy else. Tommy Giorgione fucked. He using fucked poor first. Shit? I remember yeah, being fifteen by doing Ross Jeffries type shit. I, me- I remember was being like a, fifteen and like, being like, I, I, was, "I have to fuck now, or I suck." Yeah, that's and exactly what happened. And then like a happened. month later, I fucked. Well, no, like that, two or well, three times. I like not fucked me. like two or three different people. Oh, yeah, yeah, not me. I was yeah, twenty. Not me. Yeah, no, I fucked. Uh, no, I remember 18. just like turning fifteen and uh, or being maybe I. I think it was like yeah. I Had you kissed yet? Uh, once, but like, it, really? Yeah, I just went right into fucking. You went kiss to fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where did you fuck for the first time? Um, I think technically in a parking garage. Hell yeah, dude. Because there was a lot of those like. Uh, was she older? No. She was much younger. In a parking garage? <laughs> she was three. <laughs> Wait, uh, so where, why, you weren't in a car? You were outside? Yeah, because we were they like, didn't have we, we didn't have, we didn't have a place didn't have to go. We were like hanging out. We were That's like teenagers why I asked hanging out. Older. And it's like, yeah. let's, we, like, where are we going to fuck? I mean, it's, you know, this parking garage was available. Nice. Was oh, she a dime? Nice. No. She was ugly as shit. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> she was okay. Yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. What's she up to? But these that's days? I, I have no idea. That's, that's why I'm like her. hesitant I to talk her. about it because yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. what if that's a normal person? Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> she was like, let's find out who that is. <laughs> yeah. She ruined her to life. The pod, dude. Yeah, probably. probably. She's a cum boy. Yeah. I wish I fucked as a child, man. Uh, yeah, I wish I fucked other chi- children as a child. <laughs> 
That would have been cool. Yeah, because then you get to look at fucking... Anyway, but these Ross Jeffries things, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, get back yeah. to he that. He used to put like... So he'd be like... um, You put like this the thing that you want the girl to do in like a sentence, but out of context. So he'd like... He'd be like, personally, I think women should be blow me. And he'd like say blow me, but he... But they think that they interpreted to say b- below, but no, he'd like subliminally Simple put tricks blow like me. that. Yeah, and I'm like, Tommy, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard yeah. in my entire life. And yeah, I'm like, trying to fuck these girls. I just and then a week later he paper. fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then a week later he fucked. It was like the most shocking thing in the entire world. I was like, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. No, I remember. I remember when I was like, when I was a teenager, and I would fuck my move. Like it would, I would hang out with a girl for like an hour and be like, so what kind of music do you like? That kind of shit. And he'd be like, yeah. well. Do you want to have sex? And like, I would just be upfront about it. You just ask. Yeah, I would just ask. And they'd say like, yeah. What? Damn. Yeah, it just works that way. No. Nice. Yeah, when you're young as shit and they're I like I didn't horny learn that until curious. I was 27 or 28 I years still old. don't have a move, dude. I yeah. just hang around and just like, uh, if it gets late enough, I kiss a girl and then yeah, we yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's if she talks to me. If it's past 1 a.m., mm-hmm. then I we're also just had, hanging out. I also out. had so much more confidence as a teenager. Right. Because right. all the emotional damage of your childhood doesn't really set hasn't in kicked into, in into your yeah, yeah. early 20s. Like there's, if I hadn't started stand up at 16, there's no way I would have the confidence to do it now. Oh, interesting. Thing. as an adult hmm. i just didn't give a shit about anything before. right 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 yeah damn should i try what if i just tried asking girls to fuck me would that work now Probably. i think you should do the poo stuff the problem is is like now that's rapey behavior right, right rather right. than just being you Isn't know that taking what a casey shot affleck did yeah he just said can we f-? he just was trying to smash right yeah 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 he i think rape no anyone. i think everyone was saying he raped someone hold on didn't he like fucking wake up in a bed didn't some bitch wake up some woman wake up in a bed i refuse to listen to these allegations her, i don't know get I her thought, neck rubbed and he I was in her bed casey affleck adam you might be the only casey affleck apologist in the world <laughs> yeah, yeah. because, because everyone's, enough of a everyone's shit saying that. like oh this guy's a rapist so he definitely didn't rape. letting rapists but he didn't rape, rape, and then i looked up what he did and he didn't rape anyone but he did some fucking weird shit he just went to a girl's hotel and Said, Did like, he though? He I don't walk, know. He goes into. He a said room. some gross things. He said he said some probably I- inappropriate things, but he didn't rape anyone, no, dude. Yeah, he's still fucking. Now this is up. the rape apologist podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's what you've turned this. I'm into, taking it. I'm taking an anti case. You stance. did that with your tweets, Nick. Did I? No, I don't. I do said I apologize for all rapists. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, tweet that. Do you want to call that. somebody a rape apologist? Me. I apologize, <laughs> I'm ladies. Sorry. I'm sorry that happened to you. In that context, yes, I am a rape apologist, <laughs> <laughs> and I am proud to say it. <laughs> I can't wait till someone isolates the vocals of you being like, "Yes, I am a rape apologist." <laughs> Well, now it's going to happen for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and it's yeah. us laughing about <laughs> laughing yeah, yeah, yeah. about you saying it. We're all going down, baby. Dude, yeah. when we did or, Lewis, or, or. when we did Lewis's podcast last week, he said You guys uh, did it without me? Yeah, yeah, we did the real ass the real, ass real pod. Ass pod. I didn't fucking know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It I was still left out. It was, oh, he wants well, to do a live town. Oh, well, no, I'm mad that Lewis when is when left is me out of it. They didn't Skype me in. We should have Skyped you in. But he said uh there's a picture of a he pulled up the the molestation at the Puerto Rican Day Parade, and then there was a picture of a woman wearing like a turtleneck sweater and like you know like a pig turtleneck. She looks like she just like she bought her whole outfit at Ann Taylor Loft. Mm-hmm. Like clearly someone that wasn't there for the parade, but was like just trying to walk through and then got, got molested. And he for some reason thought that she wore that to the parade and therefore deserved. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, rolls. dude, you gotta know. He was yeah. like, dude, you know what? I, 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 I don't, don't want to say what you're doing. Yeah. Dude, I don't want to say it, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, all she terrible. kind of... Those are all terrible. First of all, the Lewis impression is so accessible. Everyone does I, it. It I doesn't know. even sound like Lewis anymore. <clears throat> it's just... Uh, you know, just gotta yeah, imagine. Dude, she wore that. She wore that to the fucking... <laughs> dude, she, she what deserved the fuck to be was she doing wearing there? that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this pod was fun. We gotta get Amico. We gotta get both of them on the fucking podcast. Who? Both. We gotta get Zach and Lewis. Oh on the yeah, 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 yeah. Zach's hilarious. Zach's good. Zach's yeah. got bangers. He's got zingers, baby. Uh, He's good at sitting back and then coming in with the heat. I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know someone got molested at the Puerto Rican day. Well, yeah, I mean, this Dude, oh, that's it, all it is. I was. It's, 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 I was. It's, it's just they. Ri- it's just all rape. I was just six. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. It's like Soul Train. It's yeah. a line it's of a guys line that of you walk yeah. through. Honk, yeah. honk, honk. You're just honking titties. I was. I saw a video of like what is it? Carnival or one of those? Yeah, Brazil. And you know, it's like women just going around like. 
naked, uh, mostly <laughs> naked, just shaking like every yeah. part. Of, uh, and, uh, Brazilian women are made entirely out of ass material. Ass, There's yeah, entire yeah, body. Yeah, yeah. and titty meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's why that. So guy, they're just shaking, and then some fucking like Brazilian by guy walks by. His you know his bones are fucking you yeah, know, yeah. made out of shake weights or whatever. <laughs> he's dancing, and then he but he's covered in tarantulas. What? <laughs> 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 he's just got all these tarantulas crawling all over him. After just yeah. die like you remember, six four yeah, big titty yeah, women yeah, after yeah, yeah. six four big titty. Do you women? remember that website? Yeah, yeah. I wish I, I could find that video again. That's Do you remember incredible. that website, uh, Mike in Brazil? Of course, that was like one of the first porn sites of I course, ever saw, dude. Mike also had an apartment complex. I remember being ran. like thirteen. And being like, why doesn't just everyone go to Brazil? Why is like Mike the only guy that came up with this plan? Yeah, dude, Mike He's was a smart. fucking genius. Mike also ran an apartment complex, and a lot of women were short on rent, and they had to figure something out with Mike. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Um, I think it's cool, like in LA, anytime someone says their industry, to ask them if they do, if they've ever, ever done casting couch type shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, uh, I work in like. Uh, uh, you know, production. Didn't Carrie Fisher say she said she sucked dick to get on the, in the movies? Star Trek? I Wars? think so, yeah. Really? Back back in the day. She sucked George Lucas's dick? No, no, just in general. I don't know. That's someone who told me that. No shit, dude. It's probably I wrong. heard that Jar Jar had to do that together. Yeah, he did. Um, I think George Lucas insists on sucking people's dicks. <laughs> That's the rumor. For sure. That's the rumor I've heard. Like his Vito, gullet dude. is just full of dude, cum. He's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's so funny. It's, it's so his funny. His how fucking he, double chin. Yeah, it's, it's all just it's because he doesn't know where to shave his beard. He shaves it he too shaves high. It, he shaves it too high, and he creates this weird. Brian De Palma n- looks like that now. Neck thing. Yeah, yeah going it's on. Really bad. He, well, no one ever told him like a beard doesn't end at your jawline. <laughs> yeah. You don't what shave. kind of look is that? Yeah, you let it grow out and then you fucking clean it up right 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 right. so strange. fucking imbecile fucking idiot you piece yeah. of shit fucking rich asshole you stupid piece of fucking shit i would like some of george lucas's money i would too maybe we should rob george lucas while we're out you here. want to a fucking where are we at right west now? coast where does he we're, live we're gonna, we're gonna wrap this episode up in a minute where does he live can we fucking we gotta do another one tonight but you guys uh so we should tell them about the the big the bit we were doing what, what bit? bit what are you talking about Oh, the gay, the oh, gay, gay Beatles. Beatles. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How did it go? I don't know. That was kind of in the moment. No, well, no, no, we can get it back. It was we're like the, basically the oh, bit is like the Beatles, what if the Beatles we're gay. We're gay. You yeah, the guy the Beatles. Beatles. We're the three. The I love sucking three. off men. We're gay and we're the Beatles. I love sucking off men. We had Beatles. a really good song though. Yeah, it's uh, but that was a that was a I reworked an, an older one. Oh, uh, that's all right. But dude. it's uh. I need some hard gay sex. That's right. Somebody fuck me <laughs> yeah, like a dog. I need some I'm hard gay sex. Tie me up like a hog. <laughs> and when I get home to you, my dick is covered in poo and I feel <laughs> all right. <laughs> I got HIV. <laughs> that's, that's the fun one. When I, feel I had one too, but I forgot yeah. it. Um, oh, oh, yesterday. 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 I didn't even know that I was gay. Uh, the gay yeah. All right, the song is get better. <laughs> but you know what, guys? It's been a. We, it, this is the first reunion in a while, so we're gonna do a couple more reunion episodes, and then for the big finale, I am going to kill myself <laughs> on top of the Hollywood sign. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>